What up, New Game in Order? We are back. And today we're doing the first installment for a particular, you know, project that um, NGO Khalif uh, brought to the table. So I'm going to give him the floor and yeah. let's let's rock. What you got? Yeah, yeah. So what I got, this, what I got here for y'all, man, this is going to be a, a pretty, you know, basic game in question. I'm going to try to come up with these, you know, every week if possible. But, um, I got a pretty simple question for y'all, man. I'm going to give credit where credit is due right now to the, uh, the Weapon Wheel podcast. My boy BG broke the game. They, they, had a, uh, they had a conversation. I thought this was quite interesting. So when we talk about, you know, like, uh, you know, like gaming manuals or uh, like walkthroughs on YouTube and stuff like that, if you go and watch, you know, a, a walkthrough to, to beat a certain boss or, or get through a certain part of a game, are you cheating? Is I'd have that to say, consider cheating. I, I'd have to say no. It's no different than buying a strategy guide, to be honest. Yeah, that's not cheating. I don't, I don't think. You so, know. So, so if I'm playing a game, like let's say uh, Dark Souls or Bloodborne, something like that, and there's a certain type of, you know, you know, like move or smooth. Say so you're watching these walkthroughs and you have to go through it. And uh, you, you, you know, going through all that. So you're watching those walkthroughs is considered cheating at all to you guys at all? I don't think so. Especially like, like the way I've done it is ever since YouTube and like these tips and tricks uh, websites starting to come to fruition, even going back as far as the early days of uh, Game Facts when it was called Sega Sages, mm -hmm. it like whenever i would get stuck someplace and it would usually take me like a good while i like i would attempt to get past it on my own for a good while before i even looked it up that's mm -hmm. what i would do i wouldn't consider it cheating and nowadays when you get stuck in a game it's because they have to have you do something like super obscure that you would never even think of to do yeah but somebody had to figure that out though. Before you put that on YouTube or before the walkthrough gets made, somebody had to figure that out. Yeah, indeed, true. And you know what? Games like what? Tomb Raider, like Tomb Raider, like you can have like Dark Souls, like those adventure games, where, or even Uncharted. I'm pretty sure they already have the strategy guide oh, out for no. that. I'll go back even further than that. Um, the Legend of Zelda, when I first got it, I did not know what level five was. Yeah, because some I of the got, stuff is not I there. The and I was like, oh, Dude, that's where it is? Like Castlevania 2 back in the day. Like, nobody <laughs> knew that you had to equip the crystal and kneel by the damn fucking mountain in order to get the <laughs> no. right. Yeah, yeah. And you had, I, know. Like, I know so many people who had to look in Nintendo Power to figure that shit out. Yeah, yeah, yeah or Game Pro. Hey, but, so hey, obscure. But if, if, if it's still, I still, th hey man, I'm gonna go ahead and put my two cents in. This is, this is a yes and a no answer, man, because the, the, the Dark Souls example, I say that's not cheating because you still have to actually beat that said boss if i have to go through a walkthrough to find the boss and okay this is where the boss is at that's not really cheap but when it comes to actually i gotta i still have to go in and beat this boss even if i'm looking at videos and of how to do it and everything you still have to actually go in and and do the work so yeah, yeah. in that situation i i kind of don't consider that cheating but if you're looking up a, a walkthrough of how to get to a certain spot to progress through the game or you know something to that effect to where you have to actually look it up or guys you're cheating bro <laughs> because you know some of the stuff like you can get really stuck in games like i know that um what was it lords of shadow castlevania um uh, spin-off right there, there was something i forget what level it was the first one i did not know where to go i was like run literally running in circles so i think that they're necessary you know because there's just some folks that do have the time to like really look in every crevice every corner of a game to uh, progress where as somebody just wants to enjoy the story and the exploration might be a little bit too much for them so i i, I don't i don't think it's like a like cheating cheating per se like i'll give you a pro another prime example like uh the very first tomb raider game 
like the very first Tomb Raider game is not a linear game. It's a very, very wide open game. Yeah. But you have to do things in a super specific way in so, order to progress in the game. I remember that in high school, I, uh, when we were in school, like going through that on the Saturn and the PlayStation, you know. But uh, yeah, remember uh, Jamal, uh, Dave? Uh, yeah. He he had Tomb Raider on the Saturn. You had it on uh, the PlayStation, right? Yep. Yeah, so I, I remember like the strategy guys who used to be like this thick before the internet became like the, the, the hub for all that information. Oh. And even before like that, like AOL message boards, you'd be going on a message board to be like, have you guys gotten past this part? How do you get past Yeah, this yeah, part? people helping like, each other. All right. Yeah, well, I'm not I'm not I'm not shaming. I'm not gonna shame and I, and I don't want this to be to be misconstrued. I'm not shaming oh, anybody no. for doing this because I've done it myself. I've gotten to parts in games where uh, -huh. uh the last time that this actually happened was I was playing Outlast and yeah. it was like literally like I went through a hallway and could not find where to go. Yeah. And I went through a walkthrough and saw which way to go and then as soon as I saw where to go, I stopped it and I continued on to the game. So I'm I'm guilty of this, and I don't. I'm, like I said, I'm not shaming, but we kind of are cheating, my man. We're cheating, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I mean, I just wanted to get the consensus on how anybody else felt about this because you, when you're using okay. guides and you're using walkthroughs and shit, this this content that we're looking up and that we're researching has had to come from somewhere. And, yeah. And okay. There's there's All been right. no game. There's been no game. Completed. Probably the developers had no to game. had to do it. Developers. <laughs> There's no game created, I should say, that the developers, you know, made it to where okay, this part is is impossible for people to find out. We're gonna, they're gonna have to look at guys, unless they're talking about like Easter eggs. That's one thing, but to, mm -hmm. to progress through the game, they want you to progress through the game. So, the guys and walkthroughs are are not, you know, that's that's cheap. Rich, rich. <laughs> no, but I, I have like as I said before, like there 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 are certain situations that I will disagree with that because there are games out there that require you to do something like just so totally obscure that you would never think to do in the normal yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 that's that I, I get what you're saying but my argument is that somebody had to figure it out somebody figured it out or uh -huh. you wouldn't have that walkthrough you wouldn't have that video on YouTube showing us you wouldn't have that shit on the thread telling us what to do or, Somebody or how, like, most strategy team. guides are sanctioned by the publishers and the developers these days anyway. <laughs> like, but true, true, but when, you know. When you look at the strategy guide, it says, made in conjunction with this company, like, who published the game. So, yeah. it's the company putting it out, too. Like, okay, you can't figure out. Or, or here's another prime example. Like, the, the game will require you to do something that is outside of the norm that what you have been doing. Yeah, I wonder who found that out. Yeah. What about that shit? So we saw the guy, but like, what? Man. I remember, no, I remember no, seeing that. I, the, the game. <laughs> I remember seeing that for the first time in Nintendo Power to Konami Code. And, and, I like, what he, the he, he, here's another <laughs> thing I will add. Mega Man X, all the armor that uh, X would get to look like that um, Dallas Cowboy looking outfit, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. Like, if if uh, I forget what stage it was, but to find the boots, like you wouldn't, you yeah, you wouldn't think to to jump on a certain area where the screen doesn't pan up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, some of those things are necessary, and I needed a strategy guide to find all the armor for X in Mega Man X so I think it's a necessary thing to you know you don't want a game to be so how can I say things so hidden that people give up you know so here's, a, here's another thing that's outside of the normal path of the game that you would never think to do in Mega Man X you have to complete a level 10 times in order to get the Hadouken it was five. It was an armor armor stage. Yeah, no, you five. would never think to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's just some things that they have to give a little bit of help with. It's crazy, you know. So, but that's what I have to add to it. So, so the general consensus is that it's not cheating. It's not cheating. 
if you're using if you're using if you're using a walkthrough to go step by step by step through the game then yeah you're kind of cheating because you're taking away the you're just not even you're just reading you how the game kind of off of there. not even kind of you're cheating you're yeah you're that. you're cheating because you're you're essentially reading how the game is supposed to go then mirroring what you read mm -hmm. in its entirety if you're just like okay I've been stuck at this part for like God knows how long, and I need to look at something right quick just to get me pointed in the right direction. That is not cheating. <laughs> now everybody who gets type of the, everything, all the power ups in the first damn stage, yeah, you cheat. <laughs> all right, all I mean, right. Like I said, man, that's 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 why I wanted to do this, man. I want this. I want to get the. I want to get the general consensus. Like I said, myself personally, I feel like I'm cheating a little. I feel a little dirty doing those kind of things <laughs> um so i try to refrain from it as much as possible but i get, we'll close it out with that you, that looking at guides uh going through walkthroughs uh is officially not cheap all right i mean eating yeah if you get stuck a little help what wouldn't hurt so it's all good all right so new gaming order i'm gonna call this Khalif's corner we're gonna hey do man, that. This is this is get this is game recognized game right here, man. Game. Oh yeah, yeah. Game recognized game. Recognized game. game. All right. So, um, that, that it's Khalif. Every now and again, or whenever he's prepared, you know, we'll have a, a segment where he asks us a question, and you know, without being like prepared statements or whatnot, just getting a raw answer, which I think is pretty damn cool. All right. So, new game in order. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on NewGamingOrder.com. Shout out to us, Full Screen, our partner. And uh, we'll be back for the next segment. Peace.